this evening, the Lord is speaking to us again about secret of enlargement. So he has been speaking to us right from the beginning of this program. But this evening, you just want us to take note of this word again. Take note of a particular um, a secret, a critical information. Secret. If we want to maintain our enlargement this year, if you want to enter into the covenant of enlargement this year, that what all in all what he has been speaking to us, there is one important information you want to pass across, which we are familiar with or we have heard or we've read, but we must take note of it. So all across the scripture, all across the Bible, are stories and testimonies of great men of God who possessed possessions and obtained promises of enlargement. But there was one, there was one major condition that they all fulfilled to secure their breakthrough. And this major condition went through, it has gone through the entire scripture. From Genesis to Revelation, we find it. Now, or for a start, Deuteronomy chapter 28, one to two, it says, now it shall come to pass. If you diligently obey, the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandment which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. Verse 2 says and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. So from that passage we could see we could see from that passage that there was one condition that brings all the blessings to come upon us. There is one condition that makes the blessings to overtake us. There is one condition that makes all the blessings to overwhelm us. That is, we are loaded, following us with blessings. There is one condition. He said, all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. Why? Because you obey. So the power inside Entering into the breakthrough, entering into in the season of enlargement, there is this great secret that we must take note of in order to enter into our enlargement. All what God has promised, He had made the promise of enlargement, but the condition is obeying His voice, obeying His word. As you travel this year, as this January is coming to an end, and we shall complete this fasting, and as we are going. Into the year, we enter into February, March, April, May, June. Don't forget the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord that must be obeyed. The commandment. We must take heed of the instruction. Take heed of his words. We must listen to his voice. We must walk by his voice. That is the secret of entering into the breakthrough and walking in the, in the realm of blessings. Be lifted up high. He said we shall be lifted up high. So be lifted up I and receiving overflowing blessing has to do with diligently obeying the voice of the Lord. Diligently obeying the voice of the Lord and carefully observing his command. Diligently obeying the commandment of the Lord and carefully observing his words. Right from Adam in the Garden of Eden to Abraham, all across the New Testament, to the Old to the New Testament, are examples of men and women who diligently obey his voice and enter into their breakthrough. The secret of all the miracles that we could see in the scripture, each of those great men of God, from, from, from Adam to Abraham to Noah, they were instructed to do something. And it was after they did the thing that there was a change there was a turning point. There was a miracle. There was an enlargement. There was an expansion. He, 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 Noah was instructed to build an ark. And it was, it was in building the ark that the Lord came upon him and said, be, be, be fruitful and multiply. He built an ark and from him, the whole world started again. If he had not obeyed, that miracle would not happen. That expansion would not happen. Now, it is the same thing with all the great men of God we come across in the scripture. The Tarnomi chapter 28 verse 13 says, And the Lord God will make you the head and not the tail. 
you shall be above and not beneath. If you take, if you heed the commandment of the Lord your God, which I command you today, that was when God was speaking through Moses to the Israelites. He said, the secret of being the head and not the tail, the secret of being above and not beneath, that secret is in taking heed to instructions. The Lord is going to guide your step. Take heed to the instructions. The Lord is going to give you direction. Take heed to the directions. Concerning your family, concerning your home, concerning your ministry, concerning your children, concerning your business, concerning your undertakings, concerning your home, concerning your family. The, the more you pray, as you pray, God will talk. It, it, it is very common among many people. Some people are so prayerful, but they are not hearers. They are so prayerful, but they don't listen. Some people can go 30 days, 40 days fasting, just praying and praying and praying, but they don't listen to instructions. They don't listen to commandment. They don't listen to orders. When you pray and you don't listen to God's instructions, the prayer becomes in vain. When you fast and God speaks to you and you can't hear his voice, then the fasting becomes in vain because the, 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 the breakthrough, the secret, is in hearing his voice and obeying. Some people want breakthrough and they will pray and God will give them direction, but they will still disobey. So all the prayers, where has it gone? I pray for you tonight. I pray for you today, wherever you may be, as the case may be, that this prayer and fasting, all this prayer, all this prophetic declaration night, prophetic declaration day, prophetic declaration moment that we have gone through will not be in vain in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. So the secret of being the head and not the tail is be, and being above and not beneath is taking heed to the commandment of the Lord. Taking heed to the commandment of the Lord. Even concerning your marriage, concerning your children, when you pray, listen, God will talk. Our God hears. He's not God of power. Our God listens and he talks in most cases, the issue is not the praying. Because many people, they pray a lot. But the issue is when he talks, obey. When he talks, do you hear? When he call your attention to something, do you listen? And so I pray for every one of us that as we are going into this year, as we enter into this year, under this great anointing, that the most important critical thing about, about your working with God is hearing his voice. That as we are entering into this year, you will continually hear God's voice in the name of Jesus. As you pray, when he talks, you will hear in the name of Jesus. Your ears, your ears will not be blocked. You will not be deaf to his instructions in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at John chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. Mary gave one important instructions, which is the secret of breakthrough, the secret of enlargement. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. A mother of Jesus was there. Now, both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, they ran out of wine. That is crisis. That is problem. Then the mother of Jesus said to Jesus, he said to him and said, they have no wine. That is intercession. The mother of Jesus was interceding on behalf of the couple, on behalf of the family. He was, he was talking to Jesus. Oh, they have no wine. And so, and Jesus, and, 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 and Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Then look at verse 5. The mother of Jesus now released the secret to the servant. It's like saying, I have prayed. I have talked to him. Now listen, this is the secret of receiving. When you pray, this is the secret of receiving. Whatever he says to you, do it. And the woman left them. The woman released the secret of harvesting, the secret of enlargement, the secret of expansion. Whatever he says, after you've prayed, after you have consulted Jesus, after you have asked him, in all your intercession, you have prayed, you have fasted. Then, 
he will talk because Jesus talked. The moment Mary, the moment Mary spoke, Jesus said, "What do I have to, what do I have to do with you? What do you want me to do with you?" And and Mary now said, "Whatever he says to you, do it." That is a secret. That is a secret. So the word is coming unto you today. My brothers, my sister, you have prayed. Midnight you pray. In the afternoon you pray. During the day you pray. Ha, ah, thank God for your prayer. Now it becomes hearing. The remaining thing now is to hear what has God said. Because he will speak. When you commit things into his hand, he will talk. May God give us hearing ears. May God help us to hear his voice. When you have prayed and God now gives you the answer, may you hear. When you have prayed and God gives you solution, may you hear. When you have prayed and God spoke back and gave you divine direction, may you hear in the mighty name of Jesus. Luke chapter 5, verse 4 to 7. It's another secret. We saw the same secret again. We saw the same thing again from Luke chapter 5, verse 4 to 7. When Jesus Christ went entered into the boat of Peter and he spoke and he told Peter that Peter should launch his net. That is verse 4. When they stopped speaking, listen to, look, look at this. Peter gave his boat to Jesus and Jesus used his boat and ministered and preached from his boat. And then Peter, uh, uh, Jesus, now, uh, Jesus now spoke to Peter. Jesus wanted to answer Peter's prayer. Jesus wanted to answer the prayer of Peter and bless him. Jesus said, launch out into the deep and let down your net for a catch. But Simon Peter now said to him, I said, Master, we have toiled all night and we caught nothing. Now look at the word of Peter. He said, nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. That is, notwithstanding whatever happens, I will let down the net. Nevertheless, at your word, even though all situations look contrary, even though we have fished here before there is no fish, even though we have labored all night and there is nothing, because you say so, at your word, I am going to obey your voice. And the Bible says, I went and, and Peter cast the net. And when they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their net was breaking. That is not the end of the news. Verse 7 says, And they called their partners in the other boat, and they came and filled both boats. They became channel of blessing to other boats. It is not only their boat that was filled. They become a blessing to the other boat. And both boats were sinking. The, the two boats were filled up with fishes. How? Why? Jesus spoke, and they heard, and they listened, and they obeyed, and then there was miracle. Are you praying for enlargement, my brother? You have, you have prayed for enlargement, my sister. God answers prayer. He said, call unto me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. But when you call upon him, and he answers you, may you hear. When you call upon him, and, you, and he answers you, may you listen. When you call upon him and he answers you and gives you instructions, may you obey. So praying is one thing. Asking God is one thing. But for him to speak to you and for you to hear is another thing. After hearing, for you to obey his instruction is another thing. So may you listen to his voice and may you hear his voice and may you obey in the mighty name of Jesus. There was something that happened to Saul. First Samuel chapter 15 verse 26. When the Lord commanded Saul to go and kill the Amalekite. And, go, and Saul went and he obeyed halfway. God said, kill the entire Amalekite. Don't spare them at all. Saul went and he killed Amalekite. He killed Saul and he brought home the fatted cows. And he speared the king Agag, the king of Amalekite. He did not kill him. And then the fat cows, he, he, he speared them. And Samuel said, Why, what is this? And he said, we have brought the fat cows for sacrifice unto God. We have brought the fat cows to sacrifice unto God. And, 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 and Samuel said, has God delight 
in obeying his voice. And as God delight in, in sacrifice as to obey his voice, he said, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. To obey the Lord is better than sacrifice and to hearken to his instruction more than offering. To obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of ram. That is, when it comes to God's instructions, God loves his instruction than your sacrifice. When it comes to God's instructions, he loves you to come, he loves you to obey his commandment than you giving him sacrifice or offering. God loves you. God likes you to obey what he says than you running around in the church to do God's work. God wants you to obey his voice than you roaming about and running around and running around and sweating to do something for God. He wants you to obey his voice for because it is inside the obedience that the enlargement lies. It is when you obey that there's going to be expansion. When he commands you, it's a secret. It is showing you secret of expansion. He's showing you the way to improve. He's showing you the way to progress. He's showing you the way to expand and increase and enlarge. But when you don't obey, then the enlargement is not in your path. So, 1 Samuel chapter 15 and 26, Samuel now said to Saul, when Saul was begging him, please return, I have, I have, I have disobeyed the Lord. Now return. Then Samuel said, I will not return with you. For you have rejected the voice, the word of the Lord. And the Lord has rejected you from being king over Israel. What a pity. It was God who installed Saul. And it was God who spoke as I rejected him. Why? Because he has not obeyed the voice of the Lord his God. So one could lose his position for not heeding the voice of the Lord. One could lose his calling. One could lose his vision. One could lose his blessing for not obeying the voice of the Lord. But for every one of us tonight, I pray for everyone. I pray for you. The hearing ears you will, you will have in the name of Jesus. Everything God tells you, you will hear. You will listen. And the spirit to obey is, shall come upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. We have prayed. We are fasting concerning enlargement, of course. God has heard. As we enter into February, we shall begin to experience massive expansion. We shall begin to experience great enlargement. There shall be massive testimonies from everyone that is taking part in this exercise. Your life can never remain the same again because you have entered into covenant with God. There shall be miracles in your family, miracles among your children. There shall be miracles in your ministry. There shall be open heaven. There shall be unspeakable, unbreakable protection. There shall be astonishing increase coming upon your life as we enter into the into as we enter into this year and we are going in the journey of this year. You are entering into massive astonishing, astonishing miracles and wonders. But please, whenever God is giving instruction, let us listen. When he asks you, sit down. May you hear and you will not stand up. When he asks you to rise up, may you listen and you will not sit down. When he asks you to keep moving, may you listen and you will not stop talking and you will not stop walking and you will not sit down. You will do exactly what he says. Jesus Christ told Peter, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. In following him, is in you becoming what he wants you to become. In the mighty name of Jesus, every one of us, we shall experience astonishing increase this year. We shall experience incredible enlargement this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. And whenever God speaks, we shall hear. Whenever he gives instruction, we shall understand and we shall obey his voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.